Let me just show you this video of a guy here that sadly worked 30 years, never ventured off. Maybe he's presented opportunity, but for whatever reason, never was either exposed to or made aware or followed through if he was made aware on a business decision to improve his family life because he depended upon the company to take care of him for the rest of, life, of his life. Because that's what pensions do. They say, companies say, you work with us, like in the military, 20 years of your life, or a company's 30 years of your life, give us the best years of your life, and we'll take care of you for the rest of your life. That's called the pension. Well, this guy had some very difficult news. Let's take a look at this clip. 30 years working for his company. It's out. It ain't you. It's the motherfuckers right here. Think about that, bro. Think about how think about how pissed off he is. How pissed off will you be, man? Thirty years for my ass off for one company, sacrifice time, family, children, holiday, sacrifice so much, barely making ends meet, emotional, mental fucking at home because you because you can't provide the amount of support that you want for your family, kids missing out on things because you can't afford it, trying to pay bills. Or I don't know his situation, but I would assume he's, I would assume that he's one of the main breadwinners. And then just someone say, Hey man, you ain't got it. You don't got, you don't got it no more. Sorry. See, that's, see when, I, when I saw my father get laid off at 58 years old, that's what I knew I can't work for somebody else. I was still in the Marine Corps. I, didn't, I, I, couldn't barely spell, I couldn't barely spell the word entrepreneur. But I knew I couldn't work for somebody else. I saw my dad and I saw what he did to my dad, mm -hmm. the lack of confidence he had, the lack that my, mo he was, you know, my mother was a nurse, so she had a solid job, but the lack of, I don't know, dignity maybe that was stripped from my dad, maybe that's perhaps why he had a heart attack to begin with. And so if, you're, if you are out there, just so listen, I want confidence. I, I want to bet on something. My encouragement to you, you bet on you, man. You bet on your hands. And even though, let me ask you this dumb question. Let's say you go off on a business venture. You're learning, you're grinding, you're acquiring skills. But for 11 months, you make $0. 11 months, you make $0. But that 12th month, you make $100,000. Was it worth it? Would it be yeah. worth it? Yeah. What happens if you quit the sixth month, though? What happens if you quit the 11th month? You'll never see that $100,000. And that's where a lot of people are. They're right there. You know, the, the, the whole Acres of Diamonds uh, mm -hmm. uh, story. The people are right there. And so that might be my third point. Find an industry you make a lot of money in that you, have to acquire, you don't have to acquire a lot of inventory. That's how you can set off in learning your business. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.